Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are again. Number 23 of our 24 tiles. Hasn't it flown by? Crazy, isn't it? Okay, so today we're working on this bottom one. So if you go bottom right to the one next to it. And there's a few things, as you can see, that we've got to sort of add to it before we can do the, you know, the extra bits and pieces on the tile that we need. So let's make a start. I'm just gonna lift my camera a little bit. There we go. First things first then, straight in with a pencil and I'm gonna mark off the middle. So a little bit either side there. Just sort of give me a guide. So when I draw something, you can have an idea of the size it may be or may not be. All right, so let's go a little bit bigger. I think the first thing I want to address is this here because this is part of something a little bit bigger. We've got a bit of a bubble going in. Now, this one suggests to me it's not going to be completely round, it's going to be oval. However, you look at yours and if you think that it's more bubble, then go with bubble. I'm just going to work with the shape I've got here. Okay, so depends what you've got. You, know, you make it work for you. I think we've sort of got that idea by now anyway, so there it is, first bit in there. Morning everybody, hello. Goodness me, 23 already. I do honestly think it's flown by. Here we go, see, so it's working that round. I've got a double, double layer there, okay. It's lovely, oh. Absolutely. Oh, can I just actually say, being that I've seen somebody's uh, name there. Thank you very much, Karen, for your lovely card and letter. Really appreciate it. And it's sat here on my desk. So, uh, it's been lovely to have cards and things coming out. Although we do have this uh, strike still ongoing. It's a little bit stressful, but we get there. Okay. So this one, I'm see, I'm following this line around. And I'm going to just sort of join it off here. Okay, we don't really want to worry about it petering off and going anywhere else because you see I've got these bubbles coming down so I'm going to just sort of join that off there. And these I could probably just add a couple of lines in with my pen in a short while. So that's that little bit sorted. So then let's have a look at this here. So we can see we've got a bit of a shape from these two tiles that form this one. So let's put that in as a curve. So we know that this is going to come up and round just like this one and then that is going to sort of fall there isn't it that gives us that that little bit see if i rub that bit out now you can see where that's sort of stepping down so this one is going to sort of be the same sort of thing isn't it it seems to be heading this way so i'm going to follow it through but looking at that it's a little bit too big for one isn't it so if i put a little line in and then step it down there, you see? So I'm following with the same design, the same shape. You might find on your tile that you can fit just one in there or, or more. So again, look at yours and you see what, what works for you. There we go, take that even further down. So that sort of finishes that little bit off there. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with the pen now and fill those little bits in. <laughs> now it's lovely isn't it that all right so i'm going to start backing with this shape here all right and then this one just sort of take your time you know we always find these curves a little bit tricky if you're not careful then this one in here and again remember i'm bringing this one and i'm going to join it because I don't want to go into those bubbles there. Oh, hello Nadia, good morning. Good morning everybody. It's, uh, yeah, it's gone so quick, hasn't it? There we go, so just join them in. This bit here. So let's put these shapes in. One there. Fill that bit in. Same with this. That, the shape's a little bit different please don't worry about it it's part of something a lot bigger isn't it so it's not a big issue in that sense okay so there we've got those drawn in so i'm going to come back to this bit now and what i want to do is put a bubble middle-ish 
There we go. And then I'm going to do another aura. So another line just inside the one I've already drawn. Again, do it in pencil if you're more comfortable. But we're coming with a pen there. There you go. And then from the bubble, and again, I'm going to go this way, but you could go this way. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do a little curve coming off of that bubble, 12 and 6. Let's turn it round and do that again. So I've got a kind of a shape going on. Okay. So looking at my space again, you can decide. You might want to split it into just two. Or you might want to split it into three. So I think we've got enough space to do three there, you see. Now, if you can do that in every one, that's fine. If not, it doesn't matter, you can just do two. Or if you've got a real wide one, see there, I'm only going to get one in there, see? So I'm going to put a little curve on top of each one and fill in those little gaps as I go, you see? Or you can do your curves first and then come back and fill your gaps in. There we go. So, um, just sort of gives it a little bit of shape on those edges, doesn't it? And of course, if you wanted to, you could make it Christmassy. You could put a snowflake in this or all sorts of things. On your little gnomes. Not really works. There you go. That's that bit done. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit now. And I want to sort of focus, see what we've got coming out here. I want to do something similar here. So I'm going to turn it round. And I'm not going to start on the edge of the tile. I'm going to sort of work my way from here outwards. So if you haven't got this tile at hand, don't worry about it. Just bring it in on the on the tile on its own. That's fine. And we had sort of these like long shapes. We started at the top, if I remember rightly. And let's add a few of these sort of down that little stem there. That was a bit square, that one. <laughs> And we don't really want to have them more even. These want to be a little bit random. Turn your piece round and change the angles. There we go. You see? And one sort of there. And just sort of keep it random if you can. I know it's difficult. We all like to have things symmetrical. But you know, give it a go. And Cross a few things around, and uh, there we go. See, just sort of in and around, and there. Turn it round. Oh, maybe a couple up there. Look, it looks a little bit lonely up the top there, doesn't it? There you go. There you are. Okay. So I'm going to bring another one out, sort of coming up here. And then again, working my way sort of down one side. Just add a few in just to sort of get you going there. And then down the other side too. What we say, we don't want them in the same places. Okay. And then in and along, just filling those gaps in sort of as we go. Go. Again, they're just sort of uh, little random shapes. Let's put one up the top there. I say turn the tile, and then you'll find that you will get different angles anyway. Although this is quite a large tile, it's a bit bigger than any four piece, isn't it? So if you've got them all joined together, there we go, like that. I'm going to have another one coming out here, just sort of going off the piece there. And again, some of these are going to sit off the piece as well, but we just want to complete that look that it's not sort of stopping at the ends of the page here, it's the bits. Okay. So, I'm just going to look at this little bit now. And again, I'm going to not just fill this in, but I'm going to actually fill this bit in as well. So I want to create a grid. So if you want to come in and use um, 
a straight edge you can do that we don't want them to be too uh, too small so there you go see I've sort of got in that square I've got three let's just draw that one on the edge of the tile see so from that that, that little box I've got three in there so I was just gonna do one there there and then this one just sort of fill in wherever you can and again if you think oh you're not a little bit confusing that you can draw it across straight away in pencil and then fill in the bits that um, you need to again I'm going to use that line to help me there and just before if I can get three in there so there's one section look and then split this into two let's put three there so it gives me a nice size doesn't it now Now here, because I've got bubbles starting there, I'm going to just bring in some bubbles there. You see, just sort of working it down and in those little areas, just to sort of give it that little bit of a feel. It's done, all right? So then I'm going to look at each section here. Let's just turn it a little bit at an angle. I'm going to go a bit bigger. So what I want to do is split it again. Now don't worry if these aren't in line, follow the lines. So if you get a, a little bit more of a wavy or a higgledy-piggledy line, it's absolutely fine. I'm not gonna to worry too much around there because that's gonna get shaded and we don't need to lose any sleep over trying to create a grid underneath all of that. So I'm not gonna bother. So I've got these lovely little diagonal lines. So I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to stop there. So we've got that kind of shape. So it doesn't matter again which side, but I'm going to choose a side of each one of these little square shapes or rectangular kind of shapes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a line and then I'm going to get two this side, if I can, and two this side. See? So if I now work on each one of those square shapes having this design in there now i'm going to stick with the same side so once you've decided which one you're going to go with that's what you're going to do okay work my way along see this one it's part of there so i'm going to work on these if you need to sort of Keep checking which your squares are. We'll go down in a, a diagonal line. That works quite well. Let's, see. Let's have a look. So see, I need to do this row because there's a square there. Look, might have to focus a bit on this. And sometimes, you know, just put your finger on each square individually, and then that would work just as well. There you go. Let's see. And into there and follow it through a little bit there and again just sort of keep a little bit of focus on this because you want to make sure you're doing the right ones you could even color in the ones you're not going to do just so you can remind yourself but, uh, grids are like that you've got to focus a bit And then along there and see into those little areas and then this one, this sort of a bit going. You see here I'm not going to worry too much about it, it's going to get lost in all of this anyway. So there we go, let's have a little look at this. Right, bit of a grid. Now, if you've got space in other areas of your piece, you can actually add bits of this grid in if you wanted to. So, a little example, let's have a look round. So, you see, let's have a look uh, here. We could have added a bit here, maybe. Or, oh, actually, I think we're pretty full everywhere else. Looking at it now. I don't know, maybe a little bit here coming in. But uh, I think I'm going to sort of wait and see as to what's going on and have a look at that when it's done, which is gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> I 
Okay, so just rubbed out the lines that I have got there. There it is. And coming in with pencil. First things first, let's sort this one out. So this one has gone over the top. Same there, look, over the top. And then down those sides. So we're following what's already gone before us. This bit here, a bit in our bubble. Oh, let's go a bit bigger there. Go a bit in our bubble. And then I'm going to do a little bit all the way around. And just a little bit on the tops of each one there. Okay. And then here, I'm going to just add a little bit to just one side there. Our little sort of rosemary kind of shapes. Let's add a little bit up the stems. And then our grid. There's a couple of ways you could follow it diagonally or you could follow it as squares. I think I'm going to actually shade it as squares. See, so a little bit down each one. And then same this way. There we go. See, even at the bottom there. And then in with our tortillon. I think mine wants a little bit of filing it's gone a little bit fat at the top there. that's okay and what you can do with that when it sort of flattens off a bit you could always use a paper clip and push it up the, the top end there and then uh, that'll actually push the point back out a little bit more just makes it last a little bit longer don't have to do that in a short while and uh, here we go just sort of a little bit of softness on the middle uh, a little bit around that top edge, little bits there, and there, okay, and sort of filling that in little zigzaggy shapes, and then of course, just going to work my way up and down, so I don't want this to travel too far, just want to give it a little bit of softness on those edges. Oh, hello there. Thank you. You're not, it's not a problem. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a challenge getting it all done and getting one done every day, which I'm sure for all of you it has been as well. Because we're all busy people. There's a lot going on. But uh, that's a, a fair point, actually. I've, um, there's been mentioned, I think it was, I can't remember who said it, it was Joe, asked me if I could possibly do tomorrow's tile in the morning. So, uh, yes, I will work on that. I will get the last tile done in the morning. What I am going to do there is perhaps just give it a little bit more time because I actually want to show you how you could, um, you know, lay it out and perhaps add a little bit of colour to everything. Uh, not to everything, but a little bit of colour and, you know, come in with my white pencil. So it might be, uh, you know, more than five minutes, it'd be 10 minutes or 15, something like that. So there we go. That's uh, number 23, done and sorted. Uh, one more to do and I think I still can't find my inked tile so I'm going to have to get one of those done so I'll see you in the morning for this one for 24 and if you're around this afternoon we'll be using a, uh, a longer tile so one of the tags and I'll see you at two o'clock okay have uh, fun everybody and maybe I'll see you later take care